Hey guys, welcome back to another art video. Today we're going to talk about op art or optical illusion art. And in this one, we're using lines and curvy lines to create these illusions that these lines of color are popping forward towards you. Um, you know, we we color dark on the edges and, and a lot of pressure in the middle there where they come together and then we get lighter tones. So it's almost like there's nothing even in the middle. But that bright spot looks like it's popped up towards you like the light is shining off of it. And then these edges here where they connect with the next line of color, really dark to make it look like it's shadowed or coming together. So they pop forward towards you. Create this awesome optical illusion picture. Keep watching, keep learning. Enjoy. All right, so here's how you do this op art again. We have one that we uh, are gonna do with vertical lines uh, or horizontal lines actually, but I'm gonna start off by adding some lines that just kind of wave back and forth. It's gonna look like wavy water, like looking at the ocean. We'll draw a line that kind of comes down through the middle. Doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Doesn't have to be perfectly in the middle. But it's generally pretty close to that. I just built my camera. All right, after that, we're gonna do a bunch of these curvy lines inside each one of these things. And from our center line, these curvy lines are gonna kinda come like this. They're gonna curve up and work their way out and around. And the bigger the arch, the bigger the curve, the bigger it looks like that sticks up out of the paper and it doesn't have to be that each one of these comes from the last one we just drew I'm doing it just because it seems like it looks like it makes some sense continue doing this work my way down I'll do the same thing, but I'm going to flip my paper over so I'm always doing the same kind of curvy motion as the last one. So I'll start right here on this nice big one. Seem real easy finishing it off by doing these quick little half circles there. Now I'll work my way down the paper. Once again, the bigger the curve, the more it looks like this thing is popping farther up off the paper. Finish off the last set of lines right there, coming right down off the edge of that paper. Make it jump off really far. There we go. And now you're ready to color. All right, so uh, we'll just pick a spot and start coloring. And generally, I'm gonna actually go up and down on it now so that way I can color this way easier. I'm gonna pick a spot and just start. I'm gonna go really dark on the edges and get myself nice and light as I go towards the middle. Do that on both sides of that one. Have it transition nice and smooth if possible. Nice, smooth transition. I'll skip a spot down and I'll do the same right here. Nice and dark on the edge and less pressure on the pencil. And less pressure on the pencil creates lighter tones of that color you're using, like my blue. Smooth transition in colors tones. I'll con 
continue down that line. set of lines is done but let's put a complementary color to go with it how about that so I'll use orange so my orange is gonna go right there next to it it's dark on the inside lightens up on the outside I'm gonna do this right across the entire thing here right across the middle I'll work my way down now If you're not sure what a complementary color is, it is simply put a color that complements the other one that works well with it. Or in other words, if you look on a coloring wheel, it is the opposite color of the color wheel. And there we go. I can flip this around and I can continue this pattern going down this way now. So I got my orange in my hand, I'll just continue doing orange. Nice and dark on the edges, lighter on the inside. Pick up the pressure from it so it's less pressure, it creates that lighter tone. Now I'll continue this with complementary colors. You'll see which ones those are, I guess. Uh, keep watching. I'll speed the video up and enjoy um, how this turns out.